Hey, hey, it's Jacqueline Hope and thank you for tuning in to the Alopecia Princess show. Um, it's a beautiful December 26th, uh, really sunny out and like 45 degrees in New York City. So um, I have some errands to run and I was getting ready and I realized I haven't like really been coming to you guys steadily and readily with my life story and you know, with just with my journey. So I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more uh, effective immediately. I'm not gonna wait for the New Year's. That may be my New Year's resolution, but it's starting now. Okay, um, so what made me think to talk to you guys was the fact that lately, I'll say maybe for the past two months, I have been sleeping in my wigs. Um, I don't know if that's a big deal to any of you guys. Some of you guys probably already sleep in your wigs every single night, but I've like spent the night in a friend's house before and tried to sleep in my wigs and like ended up just having my wig on the pillow when I wake up in the morning. But now, um, ever since I've been wearing lace wigs, lace wigs, they're a different animal, right? So I have been wearing lace wigs for a good little while now, um, but I was doing it wrong. I was taking, I was applying them on and taking them off every single night. Me, when I wear my lace wigs, it has to be glued down, right? So um, the, the gel thing, it just doesn't work for me. That got to be glued stuff. I'll put it around, you know, my hairline and I'll end up in two or three hours with a bunch of white flakes, which I will not tolerate. So what I've been using is, you know what? Give me one second and I'll tell you what I'm using. I've been using this Ultra Hold Hair System Adhesive by Walker Tape. And um, it, also, it comes this way, which is the way. If you're going to buy this, make sure you buy it packaged this way because it also comes in a little jar like this well, is this a jar yeah like a little jar like this where you have to apply it with a wand and a brush and it is so messy this is the most inexpensive wand that you can get this one is like 55 dollars on amazon i could be wrong but it's in that family uh, that price range and this one is probably more like 20 bucks or something like that so you likely want to start with this one just to see how it is for you and when you realize that you love it then you want to get the big tube which is way neater but you do have to be taught how to use this because this stuff is messy messy and don't think for a minute oh no I'm super neat I can handle this you know don't think for a minute that you because you are super neat or whatever or that you're super careful that you won't run into a big globity mess because you will. Now, I'm not saying that you can't figure out how to do it. I'm just saying I could save you a lot of headache by showing you this. So I'll, I'll show you that the next time I do a lace front installation, which will be in about four or five days because that's how long I find that these last, even though it says on the box that it, they say something like, they say something ridiculous, like three, three to six weeks. No, I'm sorry. I don't even want to wear this wig for three to six weeks. And what happens is the hairline starts to get really messy. Like the glue begins to get dirty itself and then starts to cake up. And then you that hairline becomes very pronounced. Anyway, the reason why I've been sleeping in it is because I realize that constantly removing it each and every night was degrading my hair system. Right now, I'm wearing <laughs> a hair VV piece that I have already um, reviewed. I'll link it below. I'll do better about linking because I always promise you guys that I'm going to link stuff and then I never do it. But I'll, I'll get better at that, okay? Anyway, so yeah, I wear it high up and then I tie it with one of these things that I got at CVS. I don't even know what you call them, but they're hair ties. And I guess if you just browse through the section, you can pick it up. I'll actually have to buy a new one today so when I film again then I'll show you the packaging that this comes in but this is very very convenient because it keeps the wispy hairs out of your face while you're trying to sleep and it has velcro so it closes nice and easy nice and tight and then you can get your hair out of your way okay now I would not go out into the world with my hair like this just because 
you know what it may look natural maybe but I'm leaning towards it doesn't look that natural so for that reason I um no I'm not doing that Look what I'm doing with my to my floor in my bathroom. I just cleaned this bathroom today. Like I was in here scrubbing this place down, and this is what I hate. I mean, even hate, even good wigs shed, but damn, do you guys deal with that like I do? Look at that. This is the mess I just left on the floor. For heaven's sakes! But I did scrub down this bathroom today. All right. I'm just gonna run out like this. I don't think I look too bad. Don't look inside my messy closet. Ooh, I don't think I ever gave you guys a house tour ever since my renovation either. Um, I don't know if you remember when I was having my renovation some time ago. Sorry. Um, during the time when I was miscarrying, that was hard. That was a tough time in my life. But anyway, I'm going in tomorrow to finally have the DNC that I should have gotten when i had that miscarriage way back then so yeah and if you wanted to know what lip color i'm wearing i'm right now wearing the sorry not sorry by what's this girl's what's this name oh two-faced the sorry not sorry by two-faced I don't think they make this anymore that I had to buy this on eBay and it probably it wasn't used but I guess somebody had a surplus and they were just getting rid of it so I bought a couple more anyway wish me luck for tomorrow I'm gonna be having that DNC surgery um, to remove the polyps on my uterus and today I'm returning um, my stitch fix As it turned out these people at stitch fix did not put the return envelope or label inside my box so i had to contact customer service which wasn't easy it took about maybe 30 minutes in total to get someone on the line and to get this issue resolved which really isn't that bad when i finally got someone on the line the guy is like oh we're so sorry this happened jacqueline um this is not our standard of service so they credited my account 20 bucks and extended my um, return date to Monday. And I get to keep everything now for even less money. Oh, this tank top is so gorgeous. I'm really happy to be purchasing this. Um, this tank top and this dress, same with the dress. Just take a look at that <laughs> fabric. This is what I want to see when I get stitch fixes. I don't want to see gray sweaters and, and long, boring Mr. Rogers cardigans, okay? Anyway, <laughs> so let me head out. I'm sick and tired of painting all the time. Let me tell you, if you guys were wondering how come I don't videotape enough, I don't record. Did I say videotape like I'm 70? Why I don't record enough? It's because most times I'm busy cleaning. Or my house is a mess because I have four kids and a husband who works all the time. He does not have time nor the desire to look. I lost a freaking box. Yo, I might be going insane. So, dude, I found my freaking box. It was like it fell down in the corner or something, and that's why I couldn't find it. And when I went to pick it up, guess what? My nail broke, okay? So now I have to spend a minute doing that. It's so hard leaving the house. Fortunately, I have a backup all the time. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I wear the stick-ons. I wear press-on nails. I don't like going to the salon. It has nothing to do with being cheap or not having money. Oh my God, it's warm. I don't like going to the salon because I find the women at the salon to be very, very mean. They hurt me. No matter where I go, they hurt me. They keep me waiting. And it literally is painful. They, they file your nails down so low.
My nails are not in the best condition. I need to give myself a full set, but for now, I think, ugh, I don't like that size at all. No, that's not it. I need a bigger one. Where's a bigger one? Give me a big nail. For God's sakes, I just want to leave. Why is leaving the house so freaking hard? That's too freaking big. Too damn big. You know what? I'm just going to stick this nail on. Act like I know I don't have all day. I do not want to go to Walmart during peak hours so that some crazy lady could try to punch me in my face. It seems like anytime I go to Walmart after... 3 p.m. some crazy lady threatens to punch me in my face and it's happened <laughs> no kidding because I live in New York like in the city basically I'm, like right outside the city anyway it's happened to me that way at least four times four times so if you don't like getting threatened or punched in the face don't move to New York all right <sighs> even on Long Island we get it Alright, so my nail's on. Uh, maybe I can leave now? You think? You think I can leave? <laughs>